Hello, life path numbers one through nine. This will be a quick love read. As I stated in the quick career read, I do have coming up, the next readings I do after this will be special reads for life path, master life path numbers 11, 22, and 33. I also talked about this in, in the career read where ultimately those numbers reduce to a life path number, but they are numbers that are here to master a specific task so i'm excited to do those readings for life path numbers 11 22 and 33 so if you are any of those please check back um hit the notification button to get that notification to know that those readings are up and we're going to go into this quick love read as I said before too, if you are steering away from love, then you have some healing to do because love is a good thing, it's a beautiful thing, it's pure, it only brings good to you. Um, I know a lot of people have experienced love and they, they've experienced pain in love, that's learned behavior. People have shown people you know in our in our lives we've grown up seeing people say they love each other and still hurt each other that's not love that's um dysfunction it's an illusion it's not real it's not love and that's a misunderstanding you know people have had that misunderstanding for a very long time so we are all here to learn and that's one of the things we're here to learn is that love is all good we're going to get into this quick love read Thank you, Spirit, for being a guardian, a guide, a protector, a teacher, for knowing all, for seeing all. Thank you, angels, for always being around me, loving me, guiding me, and supporting me, and protecting me. I greatly appreciate it. I ask that you bring life path number, numbers one through nine energy completely into this reading so that I can convey the message as clearly as possible. Thank you in advance, Spirit. Okay, life path number one, what do we have for quick love read? How is your person energy coming towards you what is your person's energy towards you the hierophant the queen of wands give me one more spirit whether you are um, with this person already or not ooh the devil wants to come out this person may be a lesson to you Okay, we have the four of cups. Yeah. And the two of pentacles. You're, if you're wondering, this person may be a karmic relationship and may be a lesson to you. You're, you may be going through a karmic lesson right now, which is causing this disappointment. You're juggling on how to move forward from this, how to love yourself better. We have the nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay, life path number two. We have the eight of swords. What else for life path number two, spirit? I'm telling you, these cards are ready to fly. All right. <laughs> the devil, the hermit, the world, the five of cups. So you may be tied down in your thoughts about your past relationships and um, you're wanting to move to a calmer place in your thoughts. Spirit is saying to not be so focused on what didn't work and move so, more so towards what was coming in for you. This world with this, that's an ending and a brand new beginning. Spirit is saying to not focus so much on regrets you know, do that inner work to let go of all the things that weren't serving you in your past relationships so that you're not tied down by the thought of your past relationships. They're, they weren't in vain. There was something that you were supposed to learn from them. You will be moving towards calmer waters. So don't be so discouraged by your past relationships. There is a new beginning coming in and to re release, you know, those regrets. Like path number two. Okay. Life path number three. We have the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. 
um, your person is really wanting to be fair to you, wanting stability with you. They may be coming out of learning lessons themselves, but they do want something great with you. So if it is, if there are some challenges, uh, Spirit is asking for you. We have strength at the bottom of the deck. Spirit is asking for you to be strong um, because at the end of this, there will be stability. Life path number four. The Queen of Cups. And the Ten of Pentacles. This is looking good, life path number four. So uh, the Queen of Cups had been through a lot and she's also very forgiving. So if there is something that someone that you're needing to forgive, um, keep working on that because it's going to bring in some stability for not only for you, but for y'all together. You know, this is going to bring in something stable for you, a family for you. We have six of wands at the bottom of the deck. So this will bring you success, this forgiveness, um, whoever you are. Um, directing your love towards if you're needing to forgive them then work on that and and if there isn't a need for forgiveness if everything is all smooth right now this is the person for you you will have success with this person okay life path number five let's see what flipped out we got the sun what else the ten of swords i'm gonna need one more spirit the tower so this may be a, a relationship that has ended unexpectedly um, this may be someone who you seen you know a future with but it may have been built off of illusions we have the seven of cups at the bottom of the deck you may have really really wanted this person and it has ended but it may have been built off of illusions there was some conflict so let's see what what direction should life have number five be going in spirit the chariot moving forward you know it's this ending was very tragic and very disappointing but spirit is supporting you moving forward it will be challenging of course but you do have spirit's support so just you know, when it comes to leaning on, if you're going to lean on anything or anyone, let it be spirit. Okay. Life path number six. What we got? We have the king of swords. What else? The queen of cups. Give me one more spirit. The Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So this could be this person that you're dealing with may be very, very logical and you're very dreamy and very, you know what I'm saying? Um fairy tellish. And this could work. You could definitely be dealing with your soulmate. Um, this person is needing a little softening, but this could this could definitely work. So I would say keep pursuing this. This is someone that you could build a family with. They just need a little softening. That's it. Okay, life path number seven. The six of pentacles. What else, spirit? The ace of pentacles. Didn't we get this um, earlier in the reading? Okay, spirit is saying, and this is life path number seven. Spirit is saying, um, set your boundaries. Set your boundaries so that what you're bringing in will be stable. 
It's time to decide what's what you want so that you can bring in stability, so that you can bring in um, equal give and take. Set your. It's time to set your boundaries. It is going to bring in something long-term and stable for you. Yep. Set your boundaries, life path number seven. It's going to bring in what, what it is that you truly want. Life path number eight, the empress. The tower. Give me one more spirit. The seven of wands. Okay. Spirit is wanting you to focus on your healing. Focus on your healing. It's like saying, spirit is like saying, fight for yourself. Life path number eight. Focus on your healing. Focus on yourself. Um, spirit is wanting you to fight for this. Heal all the things that you have been hurt by, all the people that you've been hurt by. No more turning a blind eye to self and, and healing yourself. Okay. Life path number nine. The chariot. The six of cups. The eight of swords. So you may be tied down in a situation, in a relationship to this person. Spirit is saying to move forward. Strength is at the bottom of the deck. It's going to require strength for you to do. It's not going to be easy. Um, but spirit is with this chariot. Spirit is saying move forward from whatever it is that you're tied down to. I think that came up in your general reading too. Life path number nine. You may be tied down for um, reasons that are connected to childhood trauma or just you know, traumas from your past relationships, but spirit is wanting you to move forward. Okay, that is all I have for a quick love read for life path numbers one through nine. If you would like an extended personal, the information will be in the description. And until next time, come again.